Hey gang, what's up? Welcome back here to another edition of Middle Mondays on Intuitive Angling. Really appreciate you guys uh, making some time to check today's video out. And today we're going to be uh, doing a video. I've been wanting to do this for a long time. We're going to be talking about the the negative aspects and the uh, dangers of technology in society today. And uh, there's a lot of different parts to this I want to get into. And uh, you guys are, most of you guys that watch my channel here are very aware of you know, my stance on uh, forward facing sonar, live scope, and that type of technology. But I, I want that's just one uh, byproduct of a lot of the uh, problems we have with technology today. I want to get into that. And specifically, what I want to do is I want to. I want to bring this back to a lot of the stuff that the you know the the younger generation and the kids are getting into now that is not serving themselves very well. So I you know if you guys know anything about YouTube, the the number one YouTube channels on this planet are gaming channels, video game channels, where uh, basically what what the deal is with that is you've got people that play video games on YouTube and other people spend just countless numbers of hours watching other people play video games in this uh, virtual reality type of a thing. And this is something that sucks a lot of people in. It not only sucks kids in, but there's a lot of adults that do the same thing. Not only do, not only do people spend thousands of hours watching other people play video games on YouTube, but they do it themselves. They have video games. They've got you know, PlayStations, they've got, you know, Xbox, they've got, you know, all different type of, you know, uh, you know, virtual reality escapes that uh, people can get into now. And one of the, one of the reasons I wanted to do this video is that um, uh, Elijah, you know, my five-year-old, we got him an iPad for Christmas. And ever since he's gotten that iPad for Christmas, he got onto that thing and got like addicted to it, to the fact that he didn't want to do anything else. I'd ask him to go to the lake and he said he didn't want to go to the lake because he's into electronics. So he basically had to limit his time on this iPad tremendously because it was taking him away from everything that was real. And that's sort of what I want to talk about today in today's video. Pete, when you know, all you guys that have watched the channel here, you know, you've you hear me talk about me bashing a live scope and forward facing technology, and I do that for a reason. A lot of people say, Randy, you're gonna have to, you know, get with the time to get with technology, you're gonna get left behind. Guys, that's not the way it is. I'm not getting left behind on anything. If me getting left behind is living in some type of a virtual reality that's not world, that's not real then I'm gladly going to get left behind because I don't want any part of that. And nobody should. That's not good for the human species. Technology in terms of things like live scope, you know, video games, Minecraft, uh, PS5 stations, all, all the type of virtual reality stuff out there, it takes us away from everything that is real on this planet. And the thing about it, guys, is human beings are basically wild animals. We are no different. We, we are predators. We are no different than any other wild animal on this planet. We become domesticated to some extent for whatever reason. And what we have in there is when we get locked in to technology that takes us away from the real world, then you it goes against everything that we are as primal creatures on this planet, the things that really sustain us, that give us life-giving force, that stuff comes from nature. That stuff comes from things that are real. It doesn't come from technology or video games. And I got thinking about this in my own situation, um, about how kids particularly get dragged away from that and how adults get dragged away from that. Is I remember back when I was a kid, you know, we didn't have, there was no video games. There wasn't any you know, entertainment on TV. We got we had three channels on our TV when I was a kid, three local channels, and all it was was they played news, and then there'd be a movie at night or something like that, and you'd have some cartoons on Saturday, and that was it. You didn't have this 24-7, 200 different channels to surf through like kids have now or people have to do now. And what, hap what happened is since you didn't have something to entertain you through technology, it puts you outside. You wanted to be outside. You wanted to be hiking. You wanted to be in the park. You wanted to be in the woods. You wanted to be on a creek somewhere. You wanted to be on the lake. 
experiencing those things that were real because there was therapeutic a healing aspect that came with that. And we're losing that rapidly. We are, we are losing that tremendously. And it can be from something as simple as, like I said, kids getting addicted to, to, to um, their uh, PS5s or PS5s or their uh, iPads or something like that, something that puts them in type of a, of a fake reality to people that go out fishing and their idea of fishing is they cannot function unless they turn that live scope on and go look for fish and see fish themselves. They, they can't just go fishing. They have to be able to see something on their electronics before they can actually, you know, go through the act of fishing. I don't see how this is anything positive. And there are some technological advances that are good for our society. When you're talking about things like medicines and things that improve the, uh, the basic quality of life, uh, then those can be good things. But there's other things that come with technology that is not serving the human species very well. And that's what I see a lot with the virtual reality that seems to get more and more prevalent in our society today. Um, I don't know where this is going to lead to. Like I said, it's, it's becoming so advanced right now and it's becoming the, the people that come up with these video games it is that it's almost like there's a drug that is induced within that video game game to keep people hooked on it because it is powerful guys i know i know grown men that have good jobs that come home from work and they get on a video game and they can't get off of it they they are literally addicted to it and again it's the same way with electronic technology and bass fishing i don't see anything positive out of it so point of the matter of the fact is, is if you got an electronic technology addiction try to do something to break that addiction you know put it down and start spending some more time outside there's you know the thing if you live in a world of technology you're not living in the real world you're living in a fake artificial sterile environment and that's not good for your mental health it's not good for your emotional health it's not good for your physical health it's not good for it's not good for your relationships. It's not good for any aspect of your being. So when people tell me that, um, you know, they, and I hear it a lot since all my stance with LiveScope, that you're going to have to keep up with the times. You're going to have to get with technology. If you don't get with technology, you're going to get left behind. Guys, you don't have to buy into that. That is not, that is not truth in the terms of true truth, how, how it measures out to everyday you know, living in reality. So I don't know where this is going to wind up. There's, there's no breaks on it right now is the thing about it. It's like when you talk about technology, you're talking about money. I mean, money drives technology. It's not people don't have technological advances for the benefit of society. They do it to create money. You know, some of the things out there that we should really put our technology in as far as you know, providing a sustainable planet for, you know, future generations and making sure our planet, you know, has a, a, a clean, protected environment and making sure that, you know, we're not, you know, pumping, you know, 50 billion tons of CO2 in our atmosphere every year because we have the technology not to do that. If we could start putting in our technological advances and the things that really would help this planet and the creatures that live on this planet, I'm all for it. But right now we don't have that. We got technology that is like, it's like a sugar high. It's like something that it's like eating a, some Twinkies that are nothing but empty calories. And don't spend your time doing that, guys. Life is short, man. I don't care. Even if you live to be 100 years old, you're going to blink up, blink one day and you're going to be 100 years old. Don't cherish, I mean, you have to cherish the time that you have on this planet and you can't waste it in some type of virtual reality, whether it's staring at a live soap screen or if it's playing with a PS5. That's just, that's just my two cents on it. I, through my observation from a lot of really old dudes that are, have led long, happy, healthy, vibrant lives versus people today that are having some problems on all different levels that seem to be over-reliant upon technology. So anyway, just a few thoughts there on technology. Hope you guys, uh, uh, appreciate that. I'd be looking forward from, or I'd be, I'd welcome comments on that too if you guys would like to send some. And we'll talk later. See you.